It is Wednesday, October 22nd, 2008, and I am now, I'm Fabiola Vilches, and I am now joined by Commissioner Lowe and Commissioner Marquez. The applicant plans to improve a building facade at the northerly entrance and renovation of the existing restaurant on the third floor and expansion of a parking lot C easterly to the remaining lots uh, which is uh, which are improved with the four dwelling units. This grant includes a conditional use to allow the sale of a full line of alcoholic beverages at a restaurant with live entertainment, expansion of a parking lot C easterly into the residential zone to lots, and dancing at an existing restaurant on the third floor with a proposed sports bar. This grant also includes a variance approval to allow a grand entrance, which will contain walkway, office, and retail spaces. Um, it's about 3,200 square feet in total uh, of floor area in a P zone. This is a little background information. We have two appeals before us today. One was filed the applicant, Mr. Pedro Rosado, and the second appeal was filed by the Boyle Heights Neighborhood Stakeholders Association. I'll go by just the uh, first Boyle Heights Neighborhood Stakeholders Association appeal first. This association appealed the entire decision um, of the zoning administrator. They believe the granting of the subject application will result in public health and safety hazard and many other negative impacts in the surrounding neighborhood. They indicated that Mercado has a long history of non-compliance with the required condition. Just to name a few, um, the security condition, rapidly, 24-hour hard lines, uh, uh, which was required for uh, potential complaints. Mercado has created problems and brought bad elements such as inauguration, gang violence, drug dealing, prostitution, and loitering, and many others to the community. As I mentioned, the prior case had just a condition compliance review just completed. I happened to be the same zoning administrator for review of those conditions, which I completed in July this year. Based on the condition compliance review of the prior conditions required um, on the uh, prior case, the applicant has demonstrated a good effort to comply with the condition, conditions imposed by the prior actions and has obtained a substantial compliance with the conditions. The most recent, as I mentioned, uh, review was done July 2008, except for a few conditions, conditions required by uh, prior actions, such as signage, uh, directing traffic um, after 5 p.m., and uh, you know, the stop signs, or employee signage and stuff like that were not in full compliance, but majority of all compliance uh, conditions were met. In my opinion, the parking lot C expansion will allow for a more unified parking lot development, uh, which currently is fragmented. They were developed just the western portion of the, uh, those lots are uh, improved with the parking lot, and eastern portion is still uh, used as a residential. And also will provide for additional parking to minimize the parking impacts in the adjoining neighborhood. That uh, lack of parking spaces also were uh, issues uh, brought up by the neighborhood at the hearing. The operating of a BNY license to a full line of alcoholic beverages and allowing, allowing dancing will allow the city more control over the existing operation of the restaurant which currently sells beer and wine without any uh, conditional use conditions. The Mercado currently has five beverage license, licenses, uh, one of which uh, is for the off-site consumption, and the remaining four licenses are for on-site consumption, uh, approved, granted by the ABC without any conditional use conditions. Also, the improvement of the building facade will not only improve aesthetics, um, but also will improve pedestrian flows and in and out around the premises and parking lot area, resulting in more um, uh, safer uh, 
operation for the uh, use use on the project side because the use at this point inside is set up like in the swami the narrow corridors are really confusing and this uh, the facade improvement will improve the pedestrian flow and also we the patrons will have more direction how to get to where they want to go I'd like to mention one more thing is that the, uh, the appellants, uh, the association recommends types of uses that applicants may consider on the subject location, um, such as art gallery, and any educational programs, and uh, providing some community meeting rooms on the site uh, like that. Those are recommendations the commission may find interesting to facilitate with the applicant zoning administrator does not have any position on their recommendation. That is, uh, that is my recommendation for appeal filed by the uh, Boy High Neighborhood Stakeholders Association. Now, going back to the appellant's uh, applicant's appeal, uh, the applicant requests modifications of the several conditions required in my decision. All the requests I reviewed, uh, at this point, the applicant's request will result in operating conditions that are much less restrictive than current conditions required by prior actions. Not to mention my conditions, but it's much less restrictive than uh, the conditions required by prior action. I'll go over that each condition by condition can be a visit uh, for each condition. While the, you know, uh, at this point, add more elements to the use, and they were to be used uh, to have much less restrictive conditions. Um, therefore, the zoning administrator recommends denial of the applicant's request, except for a few conditions I want to clarify and recommend a uh, little modification, which is condition number 16. Um, as long as, at this point during my review of this case, the, the prior action required a maximum of 288 parking spaces. It was not clear, actually, the renovation of this project, um, I don't know how many parking spaces will be required by the code uh, by, to the satisfactory to the Department of Building and Safety. As long as the uh, parking requirements are met, um, parking lot C uh, expansion can be faced, but that uh, phasing parking improvement was never discussed and never requested during this process uh, before I rendered this decision. Condition number 30D, um, I like to keep the, the conditions I required except that one condition. This condition number 30D uh, requires that security guard cannot be uh, employee of the landlord or business owners on the site. I'll explain to you why the specific condition was required uh, later. Um, as long as the intent of my decision to keep security guard uh, as a security guard, not work as something else, uh, divert their security guard responsibility to do different things, um, I think a security guard can be hired by uh, the applicant or landowner or business owner, so it, that, that specific condition can be modified. Condition number 43, I recommend to keep existing condition as required in my decision. However, if DJ in the private dining room for private parties, you can allow that condition, I'm recommending uh, you can uh, approve DJs with uh, some restrictive conditions, leaving some um, hours, such as hours, maybe, um, yeah, the hours will be most uh, of my concern. Uh, that doesn't go into very late at night, so people can go in rowdy crowds after the party. So, uh, except those conditions, I, I'm recommending denial of the applicant's appeal, uh, as I mentioned, because they are requesting modification, they will result in much less restrictive condition, uh, which were even required by prior actions or by prior uh, and current uh, operating conditions. Are we available for your question?